Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see. If you do, please subscribe and hit like and comment below. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite poses, Chaturanga Dandasana, also known as Four-Limbed Staff Pose. This is one of those poses that we do over and over again in every single class because it is a part of the sun salutations, but we rarely get an opportunity to break it down and to make it safe. So please continue watching. It helps to set up the shape from a different perspective before jumping into the full pose. Once we find the alignment in lying down or standing, our bodies have the muscle memory to recreate the same configuration so that when we're asked to do the full pose, it'll become easier because we've already been here. Begin standing with your feet hip width distance apart. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. They're beside your ribs but not squeezing into them. Notice that the neck is soft and the shoulders are soft. It's easy here, but not so easy when you're in the full pose. Make your way to the wall and press your hands up against it. If we rotate this clip, then the pose is right there. The only difference is that your feet aren't right up against the wall. Your hands and feet should remain stationary as you transition between downward facing dog, plank and chaturanga. I use plank pose as the standard to find my head and feet placement by stacking the shoulders above the wrists, heels are pressing to the back wall. Your bum is in line with the rest of your body, not sticking up or drooping down into a back bend. Shift forward in your plank so the shoulder is beyond your wrists. So when you bend into chaturanga, the elbow crease stays on top of the wrist crease. Note that there's a long line of energy from the crown of the head all the way to the heels of the feet. Similar to plank, we don't want to droop in our belly, nor do we want our bum sticking up. Take a rest in downward facing dog or child's pose. From downward facing dog, shift forward into plank, shoulders go past the wrists. Bend at the elbows while everything else remains unchanged. Keep your head at the same level as your chest. And finally, while your upper body is moving forward, send the heels of your feet back as if you are trying to put your feet flat on the back wall. In the beginning, while you're just trying to figure out all the alignment, use props. I like to use a bolster under my belly so that if I make any crash landings, it's not going to be that bad. Lying on the bolster also allows you to set up your hands into the correct alignment before going into chaturanga. In stages, lift the thighs first, then your head away from the ground. Draw the belly up towards the ribs, then press into the hands for a hover. Here are some of the things that I see in class that are often forgotten or overlooked. Number one, arms splay out to the side. Instead of this, keep your elbows hugging close to the center of your body, right next to your ribs. Elbows are working towards a 90 degree angle. Number two, allowing the head and shoulders to dive down while the bum stays up in the air. Similar to our plank pose, keep your head in line with your bum, in line with your heels, all in one straight line. Number three, shifting the heels forward past the toes when coming forward into chaturanga. Out of these three chaturanga faux pas, I'm most guilty of this one. Shifting so much forward like this puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders, just like the first two faux pas. So press the heels back as much as you can. I always have to tell myself this. I'm not sure how to demonstrate this in chaturanga, but it's the same thing as in plank pose. The fourth issue I see with some chaturangas is allowing the back body to sag. In terms of safety, I'd rather have you stick your bum out a little too much rather than allowing the belly to sag. By keeping the belly toned and up, you're protecting the lower back from injury. 
Please let me know in the comments below how your chaturanga is going. And as always, if you liked my video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. That's all for now. See you later.